Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. The idea that men should provide financially for the family and that women should stay home to care for the home and the family is problematic. There are multiple reasons why it's problematic, but one reason has been on my mind recently. This arrangement keeps women unskilled and uneducated. I mean, technically stay-at-home parents gain skills as they manage a household, but these skills rarely transfer over well to the workforce. If a woman is encouraged to, above all else, be a stay-at-home mother, to get married as soon as possible, and to have children as soon as possible, then there's little incentive to get degree in a marketable field and plan out a career trajectory. And as such, she becomes entirely dependent on her spouse to provide for her temporal needs. This becomes concerning when a woman wants to leave her spouse but can't because she depends on him to provide for her. If a woman is in an abusive relationship, for example, and she has no trade certificate, no college diploma, no university degree, getting a job to support herself while on her own can be a challenge. And the longer she's out of the workforce, the more challenging her predicament. When we encourage women to be a stay-at-home mothers above all else, to the point of eschewing education and any career development, we force women to stay in relationships they don't want to be in, or that are even dangerous for them, out of fear of not being able to care for themselves. Women in these situations are driven to choose between staying in the relationship or accepting menial, low-paying jobs to sustain themselves and their children. Even when we tell young women to pursue an education just in case, job loss, spouse health, etc., it still frames careers as exceptions, which means that they don't see education and career development as necessary, and no one goes into a marriage expecting their spouse will be a threat to them or their children. Everyone assumes their marriage will be free from abuse. And encouraging women to stay in abusive relationships is just one of the problematic aspects of telling them they should be stay-at-home mothers. Thanks for watching. You can follow me online at seaver.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share here on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation, either through PayPal or Patreon. Creating and curating this content takes a lot of time, but I'm also running a business, which makes my time limited. Your donation would mean I wouldn't have to drum up business Business to pay my bills, which would allow me to devote more time to researching issues like this one, and I could post videos like this more often. Thank you for your consideration and your support. If you agree with the points that I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.